Wow, look at this. Photoshop Elements 9. Oh my goodness, this came out in like 2010. And I just found it in my closet because back in the day, um, somebody had joined a course that taught this. And they got me the software and basically let me join it with them. But hey, I haven't used this stuff in several years. I used to use it all the time, but uh, whenever you couldn't do 32-bit apps anymore, um, yeah, couldn't use it anymore. So yeah, Photoshop Elements 9. Let's just see what's in this box because I actually don't remember. And then we're gonna install it on uh, this old Mac with High Sierra, so uh, that's it. I guess we move this box first. So you remember back in the day when you bought software physically? <laughs> I don't know anybody that does that anymore, right? Because we don't have disk drives or anything like that. But yeah, so here's the front of the box, Adobe Elements 9, the number one selling consumer photo editing software. Now the cool thing too is this had Windows and Mac OS uh, versions in here, so you could, you know, you, you couldn't just choose, hey, I want Windows, now you got them both. So that's kind of cool. Uh, you can see you got your free two gigs of online storage for your photos, only at photoshop.com. Look at these system requirements right here. So again, this is 2010 uh, when this software came out. I believe it was almost 2011 actually, because it was like, I want to say September-ish. I can't really remember, but yeah, we can take a look here. So for Windows, you had to have 1.6 gigahertz or faster. Windows XP, Service Pack 2 or 3. Vista or 7. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, a color monitor with 16-bit color video card. 1024 by 576 resolution at 96 DPI or less. And Microsoft Directs X9 compatible display driver. And if you had a Mac, well, you needed a multi-core Intel processor, Mac OS 10.5.8 through 10.6. And then for both Windows and Mac, you need at least a gig of RAM, three gigs of hard disk space, a ROM drive, uh, and QuickTime 7. So yeah, pretty interesting stuff there. Uh, but yeah, this is Photoshop Elements 9. Uh, so let's see what came in the box here. So full blown, you know, getting started, instruction manual, all that kind of crazy, you know, that something, you know, this is a physical disc. It's just weird that you had like all these instruction manuals. And I don't know what this is. You know, a lot of advertising always happened in this stuff. Adobe Premiere Elements 9 free trial. You also got a, uh, I think it's another free trial somewhere in here, but this unlocks your benefits. If you have your Adobe ID, Photo Essentials 3, save $20, Lightroom 3, pretty cool. And this is an actual disc uh, in here for Lightroom 3. So if you use that, and uh, here's the case. So actual physical case, obviously. On the back of it is your uh, serial number slash product key, whatever you want to call it. But if we open up here, we can see that the first one, which is disk one, is for Mac OS. And then the second one is disk one as well, but is for Windows. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and see if we can install this on the Mac. All right, let's shove this in there. Obviously, we got the weird sounds going on because this is an old MacBook. Uh, looks like we got Elements 9, we got the Premiere Elements Trial right there as well. Got all the readme's and stuff, and then we even have Adobe Reader 9. But we're going to focus on Elements 9. So here is your install right here. Now again, it's going to install like your application manager and all that kind of stuff. So we'll see uh, what this does here. Now, obviously, if 
you had other Adobe products installed at the time, you wouldn't have to go through the uh, Adobe like application manager installation, all that stuff. But yeah, let's see how quick it can read this disk. All right, so we have our software license agreement, of course. Hit accept. Now we can go ahead and enter our serial number, which I'm going to be interested to see if this still works or not. So let me enter this in and see what happens. All right, so the serial number is still active, which is nice to see. Uh, so you can sign into your Adobe ID to uh, you know register software, all that stuff, your account. I'm going to skip that uh, because I actually don't have an Adobe ID anymore. So here's where you can install or choose what to install. So uh, Elements is 1.9 gigs, about 2 gigs. Uh, and then you add all the components that go along with it. I did not mean to click that. Um, it says 3.4 gigs, which I'm trying to see. I don't understand like where it's getting that number, but whatever. So it looks like you get the Adobe uh, toolkit for CS5. So let's go ahead and install it all. Why not? Enter my crappy password. And yeah, so we'll go ahead, let this get installed. Again, it's reading from a disk. So it's going to take a little while longer than normal. So uh, we'll come back whenever this decides to get done. All right, so it's finally done here. It took about 20 minutes, maybe just a little bit over that. So uh, yeah, I forgot that it actually kicks the disc out for you. So I'll just go ahead and toss that back up. So yeah, we can hit done on this. Let's see what got installed. So uh, yeah, we don't have application icons. Interesting, but yeah, Elements Organizer, we got Elements. Um, and I just opened it up, so let's find our region. And we'll go ahead and open. Now, this is not optimized for this particular Mac, it said. So that might be why we don't have like an application icon and stuff. It might be a little uh, glitchy from time to time, but yeah. Here it is, Elements 9. If I remember correctly too, it crashed a lot. So, yeah. Maybe we'll have to go back in time a little bit, like throw some lion or something on here <laughs> to uh, make this work a little bit better. But yeah, here we are. Um, let me look in the Finder, because I thought it installed more. Yeah, in this folder right here. So here's Elements 9, you know, all that stuff, and you can uninstall it right there as well. So, yeah, it's all there, I guess. But yeah, so new, blank file, um, I don't know. We'll just call this test. It's been a while since I've used uh, Photoshop Elements 9. Or Photoshop in general. I used to use it like all the time. Uh, but, you know, I, like I said, I kind of fell off of it and uh, just didn't use it. But, yeah, I'm probably going to end up using this to maybe try some thumbnails and things again. I just literally cannot remember how to do anything right now in this. The new layers, of course. Really, I mean, Elements was all I ever needed, you know, like, didn't have to, or I didn't do anything, like, insane, right? But I used to use this back in the day to make, like, every one of my thumbnails and stuff like that. So there was a glitch right there that I was talking about. Yeah, it glitches a lot. 
see if we can. Yeah. That's definitely one thing I remember, is it was glitchy. Well, yeah, I used to make thumbnails, I used to make channel art, and all that stuff in here, because it was just the way to go. Uh, you had your, you know, quick select tool, uh, you had all your you know, modifications, liquefying, color adjustments, all that stuff, shapes, pictures, I mean, you had everything, like, you had everything you need, and nothing you don't, and that's the beauty about that element's name. You even had some quick effects and things that you could choose from, uh, if you wanted to, but this was, you know, it was made to edit pictures, right, that's what Photoshop is, but you could also make something, you know, from scratch, right? So, yeah, but yeah, here in 2021, I mean, it still works. It's just extremely glitchy, especially when you're on a more modern uh, computer and operating system. Uh, but yeah, that's basically this video, guys. Just want to make this quick one here to kind of show you Photoshop Elements 9 uh, here in 2021, installing and all that. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below, but I will catch you all in the next video.